Welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. Today we are going to draw a llama. This request was sent in by Tara, which kind of rhymes with llama. Yes, yeah, sort of. Fun fact, llamas like to spit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty gross. So what makes a llama look like a llama? I really had to think hard about this one. Well, their heads are really small, their necks are super long, and they have these pretty long legs as well. So they're kind of like a sheep, but they're not. They're different because they're llamas. So let's pick up our pencils and start with those eyes again, two round circles, little kind of googly eyes like I always say. We're going to draw eyelids on these eyes today because llamas like to kind of bat their eyelids and look pretty, even if they're boy llamas. Okay, let's put those pupils in and draw the line across the top of the nose. And then we're going to start drawing the actual little nostril -y bits, which is like a little V going around like that. Really cute. Doesn't look anything like a llama so far, but hey, we've only just started. Okay, let's make this a very happy llama. Llamas are pretty chilled, happy kind of animals. And did you know they're actually really smart? I didn't know that, but isn't that nice? So let's draw the bottom of the mouth underneath there or the, the nose, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and we've got that lovely, happy, smiley llama face. Now we're going to start drawing the top of the head, that kind of nice llama woolly bit. That's it, lots of little bumps there. And then we're going to add in a little bit of a fringe. Llamas kind of have these really cute sort of fringy bits, makes them look a little bit groovy. Another few bumps there underneath. Very cute. Oh, looking groovy. 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 There you go. There's your new word for the day. Groovy. And uh, we're going to draw their ears. Now their ears, I did some research, they stick up whereas alpaca ears kind of flop down a little bit. There you go. There's one of the differences between llamas and alpacas that you really, really needed to know. Maybe not. Okay, so let's start drawing that very long curly neck. So we're going to start under the left eye. I've drawn that dot there as your guiding dot, like your guiding star. And there's the other dot, your guiding dot or guiding star. And let's do some bumps. So there's one and two and three and four. And now we're going to go underneath and sort of bigger ones here. This is the nice llama, sort of llama fluffy duffy neck. And let's go back up to that top dot up under the right eye. And a few more bumps there. I've done three and four. There you go. You have done a llama head and neck. Looking pretty cute. Okay, let's start the body. That big, long, cuddly body. Just starting there at the bottom of the neck and bringing it down. We're just going to do a few bumps there as well. A bit longer though. That's it. That's one and two and three. And get ready to kind of go under the llama bottom and I always seem to have to do something silly about the word bottom don't I sorry mums and dads um, and more bumps there and just keep going doesn't have to be exactly like mine but make sure it's sort of a wide body there and another bump and we're going to start heading back up to that very long llamary neck and we've just got one more bump there to do Oh my goodness, that is looking pretty amazing and llama-like. Okay, sorry, that was a little accident there, that little dot. Okay, let's add the tail. Llamas have very, very lovely and cute fluffy tails. So we're going to start at the end and do one bump and another 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 bump and, another bump and then up. Okay, it doesn't have to be that many, but you can if you like, just to make it look super duper fluffy. Very, very much like a llama. Okay, 
let's add those legs. Oh, I've just rubbed out that little little mark there. See, everybody makes mistakes when they draw. Yeah, because newsflash, everybody makes mistakes. Yes, they do. That means you and me and even really amazing artists. And yeah, I think I've made my point. Okay, let's draw that first leg. We're just going to go down and around and back up. I like doing these little simple cartoony legs. They look kind of funny. Okay, let's draw the second back leg just next to there. Down, straight line and back up. Make sure these legs aren't too short. Otherwise, llama will look more like a sheep rather than a llama. All right, let's do the little baby. Dear, oh dear, I'm a little bit tongue-tied. Let's do that front leg and go down and back up to the body. And we have a three-legged llama, yay! But let's give it another leg. So let's do that other front leg next to the front leg that we just drew, strangely enough. Lovely. Right down and back up. And now we have a four-legged llama, which will make it a little bit easier to walk. And we're just going to add on the little ends of the llama legs, sort of little trotter things. There we go. Looking pretty cute. And now it's just time to add those final details. So this time I'm going to show you what I do in some of my cartoony characters. I'm just going to add in these kind of cute details. So if you do a few bumps there in the middle of the llama, kind of looks like you've made it look a little bit furry and woollier, I mean. And I like adding these little dashes as well. It's just sort of a style thing I do with my cartoons. So I'm just doing them there at the bottom of the body. And I'm going to add a few more up, 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 more up on the neck. And look, we really are nearly done. And I'm really loving this llama. And oh, oh, it's going to be a pretty llama I'm putting on the eyelashes. Oh, so sweet. What a cute little llama. Loving it. Okay, so we are nearly at the end of our llama. And if you want to, you can stop there. So because llamas are super chilled and relaxed, my llama is going to be saying, no drama, llama. Here's some colouring in ideas. I'm going to show you a few different ways today. You could have a llama on purple grass with little bits of purple in its ears. You could have a just a plain pinky kind of llama. You could have a blue llama. You could have a cool dude llama wearing sunglasses. You could even have a uni llama with rainbow colours. You could have a llama that's dressed in a uh, traditional South American dress with a pink bow in its ear. And last of all, you could have a baby llama. Oh, that is so cute. Now it's time for the Kids Art School Gallery and a big thank you to Emma for sending in your pug dog picture from one of my videos. Emma, I love this pug dog. His eyes are just ginormous. They are gorgeous. What a cute pug. Thank you so much for sending it in. Now if you have a request of something that you would like me to draw or a drawing or artwork that you would like me to post on the Kids Art School Gallery, I would really love to hear from you. So sign up to the Kids Art School Facebook page or you can contact me on my web page sandy flat art write to sandy or email me on flatsandy28 at gmail.com if you like this video please feel free to press the like button or you can also press the share button or you could even add a comment that would be awesome or you could subscribe <laughs> remember you are unique you are special and god loves you and bye see you later have a lot of fun drawing